One of my goals to primer reloading is actually to become an anvil expert. In other words, I want to be able to glance at an anvil and be able to tell you which manufacturer it came from. It's kind of a lofty goal, but I think it can do nothing more than help. To assist myself in identifying them, I found it useful for me to actually draw them in 3D space. I'm using a program called Blender to do so, but in doing so, I don't just glance at a photo, I study them. To the members of the MeWe and other groups, I need your help. If you have some anvils lying around, if you could take a photograph or several photographs of them and submit them to the MeWe group files area or send them to my email, help me now mark at gmail.com. I'm kind of picky at the angles that you submit those photos or take the photos at and that's the purpose of this um, video is I need them I need the photos to be at an exact uh, what I call a profile angle where all the legs of the anvil line up uh, that's a little bit uh, misaligned it needs to be exactly uh, 90 degrees here and then one from the top that will help and one from the bottom that's an important one too of course and then some at an oblique angle or maybe some more at where it's looking directly up a leg and then another one where it's looking right through this what i call the hole uh, that would help and then some other oblique angles like this another thing that would help is that it's uh, zoomed in as close as possible and that the photo is uh, in focus of course and but not zoomed in so much that you start getting this fisheye look it needs to be at a comfortable distance that would help a lot if you photograph it against let's say a white background like a piece of paper or a index card what have you another is to identify the photo on the piece of paper in the background like let's see if i can show you like this if you put on the sheet of paper uh that the fact that this particular one is a uh, came out of a winchester small pistol primer brass and you if you know that it's a cci anvil just kind of scrawl that on the paper as well let me show you why i'm so picky and you would not believe how difficult i found it to draw a simple anvil the contours of these lines and whatnot and the fact that there's an uneven number of uh, legs in the anvil makes it very difficult to draw and have them come out looking relatively decent. But the reason why I'm so picky is, let me turn this one on, I'll use this one first, is I don't really draw them, I cheat and I trace them. And the photos that you take uh, for me, I will put them inside the program called Blender. And you can see that if I trace those lines at 90 degrees, you can kind of see why or how I, or why I need those photos to be at exactly at 90 degrees. And then I can spin this around so it looks like that. I see. I think you can see where I'm going here. G in the X direction. I gotta talk to myself for this all to come out right. But that's why I'm so picky at the uh, the camera angles is that I've got to trace these lines to match the profile and then what was that other photo that one was showing the top view and you can see rotate on the z-axis 
Anyway, I think you can see why I'm so picky at the exact angles. I want to be able to trace those lines, not actually draw them. Thanks, guys. This is Mark on ArdvarkReloading.com. If you have the financial means, donations on Patreon would be appreciated, but not required. Details below. And if you have technical questions, please join me at the MeWe group called Primer Reloading. Hope to see you there.